What are you doing? Um, chill. Montel and I have been together for three years. We definitely still love each other. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, but he's consistently been there for Ava. Why you ain't got no socks on? Because I just put them on before I left. That's nice. Did you hear what I said? What? I just talked to you about something. About what? So, the other day, I took a pregnancy test. And what did it say? It said, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You don't look happy. Who would look happy? What am I supposed to get up and start? Ooh, wee, baby. You don't even look like you. I don't give a You don't give a Not really. That was ignorant. Montel and I have been trying to have a baby for a while now, but it never seems to work out. I didn't think it was going to happen. Like, I always stress out and I always am late. But something was different. What do you want me to do? Well, you sure as supposed to care. I really don't. Since when? Since forever. So you never cared? We both didn't make any sense being together. Cheating on each other, talking to other No, people. I didn't cheat. I was only with someone else when I wasn't with you. You but. cheated since day one. I don't know why he'd be saying this hurtful ass to me. No, it's just not long to. We've been through a lot. Like, our rocky, but when it's good, it's good. And he's been the only person I've ever really opened up to. I can't imagine life without Lontel. It's been three years. Everything's comfortable. I don't like change. I don't want change. Do you care if it's little? Yeah, I do care. I don't want it to be little. So you've been with a little person for the past three years, but you don't want a little baby? No, I don't want to. I know it's a chance I could have one, but I don't want one. What if it is? That's just the way it is. I got to live You're not going to be mad? No, I can't be mad. It's going to be my kid. I mean, why would I get so mad? So you care about your kid, but you don't give a about me and you haven't for the past three years? Correct. You're a dumbass. You can leave. Go. Are you gonna take me? Get out. No. It's not your house, so get out. I'm not finna physically go on the streets. Okay. Find yourself a way home. No. So call the laws on you again? You're not gonna call the laws. Get out. You're not finna be here and say some dumbass. Okay, that's cool. You act like you're five, bro. You deserve to go back to jail. Yes. Of course. I'm taking more than not to lunch today to let him know that things didn't work out at the salon. Who had the chopped sandwich? Uh, oh, chopped sandwich and beans? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She can look good as you got some. That's juicy. I'm kind of nervous to tell him that I got fired. I mean, he's not as forgiving as many. And who knows how he's going to react. So, how things been going with many shopping? Well, I actually got fired. You got fired? Yep. No, I don't want to hear that I told you don't leave your job until you found something else better to do. You didn't listen to me. Look how it turned out. Now the little income you were getting for yourself, that was going to be your personal money. Now I got to just give you personal money and take care of everything around the house. That was real stupid. So you calling me stupid? Somewhat. Y'all need to take it easy. You ain't even put yourself in my shoes. How you think I feel? I know Morland's mad, but calling me stupid, really? I mean, we're a couple, and we are supposed to support each other. Besides, I may have gotten fired from the hair salon, but I'm still planning on pursuing my voiceover career. I'm over here trying to juggle all this stuff, trying to Take care of the house. I, I don't know, Money. I, I, I done lost my appetite. You, but you got to get together. Money, I'm trying to eat my food and enjoy it, and you going in all of it. You got to get your together. Yeah. So you just go walk. Money. I'm sorry. Show me what you do. Show me what you do. Many got feelings, too. 
And I don't have no fingers. You know what the f what you talking about, buddy? For real. Okay? Clean that up. That ain't what's up. Go marry her then. That's what you do. So Money finally proposed to me, and I was thrilled until he dropped a bomb on me that he took Minnie to go pick out a ring for me. See, you can do something like this. This is perfect right here. This is it. My girl will love this. I can't believe he thought it was OK to ask Minnie when he know we not even friends right now. It's a respect factor. I mean, he's supposed to have my back and supposed to be honest with me. If you saying you want to be with me, then I need to be your main concern. I want this like, to be a, a pleasant breakfast a day out there. And I made you wear it. You always trying to sit here and convince me why I need you to be nice, man. What does it matter? If I'm telling you I don't want to, you can't push it on me. She's playing a dangerous game. I'm not going to be part of this. If I tell you this the way I feel, I need you to respect it. Morning. I'm sorry for the misconception, the misunderstanding. I'm trying to change my ways, okay. and you just made me backslide. Well, that's all and right. Now I didn't monetize but do you. Love? you. Getting monetized means you're going to get rained on by whatever liquid that's in money's possession. Do you love me? I love you. Well, come give me a hug then. Not with all that on you, because I don't want to be something for me? Not the monetized side. We'll get this side. All right. Promise you won't monetize me no more. Oh, no, I can't promise that. What I can do is say I will commit to trying not to monetize you. You'll try. I will try. All right. Hey, and then you want to be wearing breakfast. <laughs> Chris and I moved into our own place, right next door to my sister. We couldn't afford living in that big house since Amanda and Jordan moved. We all worried about money. You got that right. Have the people called you back from the evening? No, they didn't ain't, ain't call me back. It's hard for Chris to get a job right now because of his record. So you're talking about criminal history. He saved time in jail, just a little. Yeah, whatever. People see me with my tags and this and that. The first thing they say, oh, no, sir, we ain't hiring. Yeah. Come back again or, yeah, here's a number and, and that's like about it. just like when I go to the interview. They be like, oh, no, because she's short. She won't be able to read. Boys, if okay. anything, they'll, they'll get you quick. No, they won't. It's yeah. not easy. And it's not easy to find a job. Just don't even come at me like that just because you make all that money twerking and all that, you know. You're the one who should be head of this household. And you're the one who should be paying bills. And you ain't doing Oh, my God. You're pissing me the out, like, for real. Because you know it's true. Man, you know what? Just shut the f up with this. Nah, That's nah, why you think man, you say, man, I got man, this motherfucker. Man, whatever. You know what? Man, I'm gonna shut up. Go to my students. Whatever. <laughs> I'm so glad you moved right next door to us, but you need to learn how to knock. I don't need to knock. I'm your sister. Girl, why are you slamming doors? Stop get pissed. What's wrong? Because Chris and I got in an argument. Well, did you get into it? It's because I told him that he needs to start looking for a job. He don't need to get you heated up when you're pregnant because he's stressed and all that. That ain't good for the baby. I don't have I don't have a job and he don't have a job, so... Girl, I ain't got no a job money, either. ain't no money coming in. I ain't got a job Just either. Tell him he needs to start looking harder. Yeah, now that I told him. Eventually, Andre's going to wind up coming down here. There's no money coming in. Girl, there ain't money no coming in for me either. Since you're pregnant and I can't twerk without you, I'm nothing without you. Like, you ever think, like, if you go by yourself, like, it'll give you much money? Andrea, you know how much money we made with both of us together? We ain't the tiny twins. It's like tiny twin. I didn't think that you were going to get pregnant so soon. I'm not like a replacer or anything, but I'm going to replace her for now. Baby, there has to be another way, you know? I don't know. We got to figure out something. As long as you can twerk that belly or something. Go ahead and twerk this belly. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just kidding. Can you twerk this belly? Girl, no. I let her twerk like that. Can you believe she just said it? I was just playing. I'm not that serious. So when you pregnant, you gonna twerk your belly? Hell no. I know you are. I was just playing. I really do. I hope you get something out of this. I really do. I don't need me. Both of us. Okay, so what I need to change? With what your what little attitude, but I can't even ask you nothing without you getting frustrated or oh, yeah, bothered and all that. So don't only throw it on me. It's half and half. Both of us 50-50. Well, that's true. I do I have know. another attitude. Chris and I have been knowing each other for seven years. We have two beautiful kids named Andre and Aubrey. They're going to take off that feeding tube out of her nose. Did they say two months? No, they said for a month. 
But Chris and I fight all the time. You're the one who should be head of this household, and you're the one who should be paying bills. You ain't doing Oh my God, you're pissing me the f out, like for real. Yes, he done cheated on me before. Yes, I done caught him talking to other girls. But when hurts the most, when Chris leaves our kids, Aubrey and Andre. You have a daughter here. You left me with Andre, and now you're gonna leave me with Aubrey? The reason for me walking out on Andre all the time is because I don't want stuff to really, really hit the fan and then things being said and feelings being hurt. <laughs> That's why I feel like I, I take a break, but I always come back because I want to make things work. We need to work out our relationship, you know, and for us to be there for Aubrey instead of you always leaving and me leaving me with Aubrey and I'm taking care of Aubrey by myself. What I don't like is that you're trying to make it seem that it's all me, 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 me. Because me, you're me. the one that's always leaving. You're the I, one that's leaving. It was only two. Yeah, but, but you're going to a different state. Yeah, but look. So, I, I, so, what, so, what, so, what, so do I go up and leave? No. No, I, but look, I, I stay all right. at home. Since you want to start all this and not like if it's me, nah, the, your family and everybody was all, all up on our. And that's why I felt like, you know, I was getting, like, closed in. Okay, that's but why. So you're trying I'm to use that to get at me, but not. Right now. I'm not I'm talking about you leaving. Yeah, exactly. Like, I and I was like, okay, we're going to get something, something out of it. Out of this. Okay. I'm saying. All right, well, don't be coming at me like that either. Well, like, talk to me right. right. Talk to me right, because I'm not even okay, talking well, to you like that. Okay, well, you get out, so I'm going to get out with you, too. You can't rush me with something I can't, I don't want to do. Okay? Oh, man. I don't see how this led to an argument over just trying to fix ourselves. Why the f are you still talking? I'm not talking I to can. you. I can. I'm just trying to f up. Like... This shit was getting out of hand already. I'm so sick of Chris always skipping town and run away from his problems when things get difficult. You have a daughter here. You left me with Andre and now you're gonna leave me with Aubrey? Here by myself? All you do is think about yourself. You have other kids you need to worry about. I didn't come here to fight, but all your family is against me, your friends, everybody, no, so it's all right. It's little, cool. It's, all right, whatever. This. He always tries to find something just to find something for him to leave. He's always, my man, you know, we know how Chris yeah, is. But... This is the last time. If he leaves, I'm never taking him back again. Hey, why are you doing that? Why you want to say shit like that? It's because I'm tired of everybody seeing that I'm the bad guy. I'm tired of everything, your friends, everybody, everything in general. I'm tired of it already, like for real, man. I told you, I need some face, Andrea. I even told you, look, I even told you, I'll take Aubrey with me. You don't even know how to take care of kids, so what the, what the point? Let me try it. Hell no, he's not taking my kid. Kid can take care of himself, so how can you take care of a baby? All right, I'm leaving it. No, I don't know what the f to tell you. Well, can you f wait? Man, just go with her for real. No. Nope. Chris. No, I'm done. Chris and I have always had a rocky relationship. I've been on his case a lot because he needs to help me with Aubrey. But instead of stepping up, he's walking out again. I don't give a f anymore. Go over there already. I told you you're the one that wanted to break up, all right? You're the one that did this, not me. No, you're the one that did this because you wanted to leave. No. Yes. No. You're the one. No. All right, stop. Chris. Move. I'm always trying to flip this shit on me, man. For real. You going to the airport? Yep. I'm going home. <laughs> Past the blinds and closed windows. I'm going Every time Chris walks out, I promise myself I won't take him back. <laughs> And I'll try to be strong. I'm tired of breaking my promises. I'm flushed. When I don't want to hear. Okay. Men like Chris come and go. He is not the only one, sister. <laughs> Andrea, how are you gonna think he's gonna change? He did not change with Andre. What makes you think he's gonna change? You always helped him. 
When he was in jail, you bailed him out. When he needed a place to stay, he would stay at our house. You would buy his shoes, you buy his clothes. You do so much for him. I wish he would change, but he's not. You gotta realize that. Andrea has always given Chris so many chances. I really hope she sees him as he really is and just cuts him off. I'm always gonna take stuff because I'm your sister, because I love you. Yeah. And I'm still here for you. And I'm always gonna be here until I die. What's up? No hug, no nothing? You ain't even happy to see me or nothing? No, I'm mad you. Why? Because you know why. So you're starting to trip just because I want to go visit my mom? And that's bullshit. I'm not tripping because you want to go see your mom. I'm mad because you got up and left. You just want to keep living in the past. You can't be doing this messing with your Okay, mind. because you yeah. already done oh. left me with Andre, so what makes you me think you probably leave me with Aubrey? That's what you're trying to say, that I'm yeah. that you're scared that I'm gonna leave you or something? Yeah. No, I ain't. Chris doesn't get it. It's not about where he went. I don't care if he went to go see his mom. I just got mad because he didn't tell me that he was gonna leave. It scares me that we get into arguments, and I get worried that he's gonna leave and he's never gonna come back. Oh. Why the hell you let me know? I did. I okay, just... but, you, but when you're about to walk out the door, look, there's, pe you... there's people. Around. I don't give a damn. Oh man. Why <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So much. You got me. I know. I know. I f***ed up, but I mean, I'm not gonna do that again and just leave you and <laughs> like in the past or whatever. I mean, I'm here, ain't I? I mean. <laughs> I know, but that's the way I felt when you left. It's all right. I'm not going to just burn off on you again or nothing. <sighs> Love you. I'm going to try my best to be here. I wasn't there for Andre. I wouldn't even be here right now. I wouldn't even try to meet y'all up over here at this spot. Whenever Chris apologizes to my sister, I just think it's bullshit. My sister gives him too many chances. You hear me? I'm not going to leave you again. What's wrong with you, woman? Ooh, right. Gonna mama find where you been your ass bill. Hey man. Hey, how, how you, you doing? doing? I'm good. I'm good. That's good. I just wanna let you know that yo, know, you know, I miss my baby, man. I, I want I really, really want him with me. So what's the verdict? Did you sleep on it? He can visit you as far as living. No. But I'm his mother. As far as visiting, yeah, Why that's did, So you're saying the only way I can see my son is like, you know, little holidays or whatever. Okay, they no, no, that's no, not slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. No, that's you, not cool. I'm not going to slow down because he's just as much as my child. I had him. I laid on that table for 12 hours. It's not only holidays. You can see D2 whenever you want to see D2. But as far as living, no, no. So you just gonna say the answer is no? I'm ready for my son, you know what I'm saying? Money, listen, I got everything listen. set up and you wanna tell me just no? Listen, listen. Every child should be with their mother. Okay, well where I come in? Let you visit. You know what, money, you, know you know what, you know what, okay. it ain't no talking to you. It's like talking to that wall right there. Ain't no, right. It ain't no talking right. to you. We'll just have to go back to court because you're the, my son's going to be with me. Thank you, Thank you, too. Bye. Bye. Oh, I know this going to happen, man. This is, this is not cool, man. The reason I moved to Atlanta was to better myself so D2 can have a better life. I did exactly that. And Derek won't let D2 move with me? I'm pissed. I'm still gonna bring D2 back to Atlanta, but as far as a long-term plan, Derek hasn't heard the end of this. What happened? Derek said no. He can come visit, that's it. I need more than that, man. That's my child. Visiting is not enough at this point to me. I want more than that. That's the purpose of me coming to Atlanta, is to better myself so I can make sure I get stable so D2 can come and then he's still saying no. It's like everybody be like, okay, well get better at this, I get better at it, and then here come the walls come crashing down. Like, I'm on some like for real, like I'm done. It ain't even worth trying no more. Yes, it is, Every time I try, don't work. You know, it's like, and I'm so tired of this, man. Money. 
You need to calm down. So what's wrong with you? It's a lot wrong with me. Um, I just talked to Juicy, and she told me she called Robert. And you know what he told her? Why you on the road? You was cheating on me. You, it was girls. Like, you were seeing people, and you was bragging about this. So, like, were you with somebody when you were on the road? Like, first what is all, it that let I me need understand. to know? First of all, what the is Juicy doing calling Look, you worry about the wrong thing more than answer my question. What is it that I need to know? What is he talking about with these girls and stuff? Hold up, first of all, Calm Hold down, because no, we I, at a party and people I, I'm all I'm not worried about them. I'm married to you. I'm not married to them. And they, they all know how ball, money get down, ball, OK? Like, you better start talking okay, fast, because you got my nerves bad right now. All this he say, she say. It ain't about the he well, say, she say. Well, say well, no, it, 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 I'm going to tell you No, let me tell you something. I'm not that chick that's going to stay around if that's how you getting down. I love you. I'm with you. But I'm not going to accept that. That's something that I'm not a I understand, even though all this was before we got married, what you talk, what he's in reference to. Wait, hold the f up. Oh, this is before right. we got married. So okay, that yeah. don't make it right. So what you trying to say? No, if if, right. if, if, if this was me, before we got married, we were still engaged. So you saying that something did happen? So you saying something did happen? I don't want to talk about this no more. I'm about to head out of here because I don't got time for this. Oh, just answer my question. I got to tell you. Did you cheat on me when you was on the road? Hell no. Money, I would never cheat on you, man. I would never do that. I wouldn't risk our marriage and what we got going on. But why is Robert telling Juicy that's what happened? And he just making up some because he pissed off. Because I kicked him to the curb and I told him I didn't want him to be the best man no more. So now he's just making up anything to try to cause friction between me and you. I've been trying to focus on my marriage to Moreland, but it's hard because he's always on the road. And to make matters worse, Juicy told me that Moreland's ex-friend Robert told her that Moreland's been cheating on me. Morning got some explaining to do. We're gonna be married. You have to listen to what I say. I was just asking you. Yeah, and don't, but don't go against what I tell you when I tell you the truth, because it's me and you in this marriage. So we can't let people tear down what we got going. Because people wish they had a good marriage, so they're gonna do anything and say whatever it takes to break up what we got going on. I hate to see money and Morning get into it because of what I told her, but she's one of my good friends. And if Marlon is seeing other women behind her back, she needs to know. Can you hear her? Yeah. Sometimes somebody may come to me and say, okay. don't you know your wife was doing this behind your back or this? OK, Marlon, I get okay, that. Then. I was just asking you. Took it to a whole other What you got to understand is she's nosy as hell. But I don't understand why is Juicy talking to Robert. Because Juicy, you know, she was looking out for me. I'm no, tired of Juicy yeah, sticking her nose in our damn business about our marriage. So you know what? I'm going to address it with her. No, you're Juicy. not. Juicy. Just chill. Jesus, take the wheel. Well, hey. You didn't have the right to be calling Robert trying to clarify something that, you know, is not even important. He was jealous, and he was lashing out in a jealous rage. So I don't deal with him no more. Well, then, that, then he don't need to be spreading rumors on you. Just worry about what Juice is being. Worry about what is going on in me and her, well, man. If he's saying something about her, like, I, I mean, what I'm just saying, what, what you can have, like, little attitudes dipping in other folks' marriage, man. That's, you're not supposed to do that. Look out for my girl. Just like if it happened to you, you're going to look out for you. That's all I got to say, man. I believe Morlin is telling me the truth. And I know Juicy was just looking out for me. But now I have my husband and my girl at each other's throat. What just happened? Money, you OK? I'm married now, so when he leaves, I got to leave. And I got to go deal with these yeah. Jesus, Lord. Well, this was super nice. Kicking big shit with my feet on him. I ain't even got to touch the bitch, because my baby daddy be on for real. Be that ass. Nick, you being good? Do you have anything you feel like saying regarding moving forward, you know, the children? I'm here. It's hard, but I'm here. We can talk more later. That's fine. Nicholas, it's just you and I. OK. I just noticed that Nico and my mom just stepped off to talk. That's fine by me. Maybe my mom can make some sense out of what goes on in his head. So, Nick. I want to ask you this. What is your intention moving forward? 
I'm here, I'm president. You know, I moved all the way down here from New York, not just because it was, you know, fun. You were there, and then you weren't there, and that's your choice. No, I've been there emotionally. I've been there spiritually. I've been there as much as I can financially. The children need more consistency. Absolutely, I agree. They are confused. If you want to be part of the children's life, you have to be there. I'm here. You're here. And that should be enough. Okay, you need to step up more to the and plate. And what I'm saying is that Tanya needs to allow it. Well, Tanya is saying that she's already doing the work. I've been here since day one. I've been here for your daughter since day one. And I'm still here. If she's willing to allow it, I'm here. I can hear them talking outside, and I'm getting pissed. He's trying to make it seem like I'm keeping him away from the kids, and that is just not true. You have been gone with the wind, Nicholas. I that's love not, you. That's not true. I love you. That's not true. But honey, no, but that's when it true. came to birthdays, that's not true. I was Bill's there. Was being paid. I was there. You were not there. I was there. You have, have not been a contributor. I have factor. been a contributing factor as much as possible. What I am doing is not good enough for you. I apologize that it does not put a smile on your face. Am I allowed to speak? No. I was gonna let them talk privately, but I can hear that things are escalating, and I am not gonna let Nico talk to my mother that way. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You don't know how to talk to people, so I need you to calm down. Gotcha. Thank you, lady. Calm down. I'm done with this right now. So can you can you just come with me yes. so we can get the kids together? Absolutely. Thank you. Let me tell you something, Nicholas. If you love the children as much as you love my daughter, then you'd be showing up for them as much as you show up for my and daughter. I am come on. Up. I'm That's here. how I feel. But I'm here. And well, I'm here. I love you I and love I love everybody too. here, but I'm telling I'm you, here too. I love her first. And I'm here. I love her first. Okay. That. And I'm gonna say how I feel. I know you like the back of my ball. What's up? Uh, nothing. I just came to talk. Uh, I'm not gonna make this long and drawn out, but um, I wasn't really happy um, with the way that I left the situation that happened here the other day with Sam. Um, I felt like I may have said some things that might have offended you. Right, but, but she, so she's issues. a little person. I'm a little person too. Your son's a little person. You know, I have no issues with little people because if I had issues with little people, we wouldn't be here to this day. I just wanted to personally apologize to you for what I said. I appreciate Nico coming over to apologize, but I'm still pretty aggravated with what he said. He disrespected me, Sam, his kids, and little people in general. I have zero tolerance for comments like that. I wasn't intentionally trying to offend little people. I just have a specific issue with Sam. Every time I see Sam, she's coming out the mouth sideways. I'm hearing about her talking about me. And the only reason why she's able to talk about me is because of things that you told her. So that's where my issue is with you. She said it's unusual for us to be here at the same time. That's what she said. No. Not saying that it was unusual no, for you to be here. you're not gonna insult my intelligence. She has this mindset that I am not around because you keep trying to tell everybody that I'm not present, that I'm not helping, that I'm not doing anything, that I didn't do enough, that I was never there for Jaden. Did she, did she not say all of a sudden you want to be in your kid's life? Did she, she say that? She decided to say that. But That's who did she get that from? She got it from you. It's the truth. It's not the truth. I was there. Know. I was there. Sam said then, she said I didn't talk to her. Well, then put your friends her. in your place. The, I'm, not the, you the, huh? I'm not here to defend you. I'm not here to defend you. You're not here to defend but no. you're going to talk no. about me in the streets. I'm not I defend you. I defend you. I defend you! Are you serious? I'm not yelling. This is typical Nico. He says he came to apologize and then ends up blaming me for everything that he said to Sam. I am always here for you. I'm always gonna be here for you. You can me over, you can talk about me in the streets. I'm always gonna be here for you. Yes, I'm always gonna yell and hurt because I still love you, period. You act like the things that took place after you moved to Atlanta did not happen. Shut up, I don't care anymore. I don't want to talk about it to you or anyone. You I do don't. care, you just don't, don't. don't want to talk about it because Tom, you're not over it because the fact that you're still getting emotional about it, you are. You're not as loud as me, but you are. It still affects you. You're lying I'm to yourself. So you are lying ways. to yourself. You are, are you lying to yourself. Crying? So you're over it. Yes. Ten years of friendship and you're over it. Yep. This so is love. your daughter or leave. Okay, like you said, it's over. It is. You're faking it. I am way beyond Nico romantically. I'm with Vaughn now and he just needs to accept that. Come here. Okay. Go in the room. Go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have to go through, 
to get over us or me or whatever you need to go through. I'm done with you. I need you to understand that. I'm mostly drained at this point, so I'm just gonna leave. That's it. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God. I'll sit over here. Hi. Sam, why did you just switch spots? Because I feel like he's a liar. Tanya played games. Because Tanya played games. Can I, if I can talk. All right, I want to hear why, how she played games. I haven't done anything wrong in this whole scenario. One thing I don't do, I don't lie. Most of you girls here, you're, you're brand new. You don't really know her. And although she has nothing to say to me, there's a lot that she wants to say to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll, let me finish. Hurry up. People want to play the victim role and act like Big Bad Nico just came down from New York, just stuck his <laughs> in Tanya, got her pregnant, and bounced. That is not, that's not the story here. I was Already listening to we your conversations, and you were constantly telling her how mad you wanted to be with her. Okay, Sam. And guess what? Okay, Sam. You <laughs> in her, and you booted. I <laughs> her, and I booted. That's, that's what, what I did. you did. I not her, and even I a weekend later, she's crying to me because you don't want a relationship now. Oh, God, this girl, y'all don't understand, man. I originally had been making more consistent visits with my son ever since she broke up with Vaughn because... How consistent becomes... were they? Don't play me! you really trying to play you games You should have right been now. with her if you wanted to Sam, be with this her. this is not about you. No. This is way bigger than you. Always been your best friend since day one. I'll always look out for you even when I don't even know how to. That's not relevant at all. Please don't let me go there. Before I start saying stuff that I don't want to say. Does it affect you having... Devon in it, your son's it does life. Not, because it's, it's a, we have a unique situation. This is not a normal situation. Tanya and Nico's relationship changed forever, and maybe not just because they're having another child. Let's take a look. Hey, little hey, man. Daddy. What's up? Nico moving in is going to be great for the kids. But he don't know who I am. This is a positive step for the both of us. I didn't say he didn't know who you are. <laughs> is Nico here? Um, he actually left. He just moved out. He just moved out, huh? He said he wasn't ready. Javon, do you want to say something about this situation? I was just about to say, you can just keep it honey. I mean, for real. Say whatever you guys say. Are you talking about the stuff that we talked about? Anything. What is this like, stuff you guys um, talk about? I'm trying to keep it Good, bruh. No, I want to know exactly what y'all talked about. You don't have to say something you don't want to say. This is stuff that you don't even say on TV. I'm just being straight up. Um, well, she told me that Vaughn came down here after she was pregnant, and he had a conversation with her about how he wanted to get back with her, how she one needed to get an abortion, and also, if I wasn't gonna be there for this new child, that he would step in and raise this child too. And know what she told me? She told him after that statement, remember that you said that. Bitch, you're putting this dude on reserve when you got me coming down here from New York. Did you that's have her. Devon on reserve? No. Yeah, well, that's no, what I she said. Not. And I don't lie. I don't make things up. You did tell me that, to manipulate the circumstances. Devon, do you think that Tanya manipulates circumstances to benefit herself? I wouldn't say it in that sense. I would say she has a way with words. <laughs> do you feel like you were ever kept on the sideline? At times, yeah. Did you ask her to have an abortion when you found out that she was pregnant again with Nico's baby? I wouldn't per se say I asked her to have an abortion, but I'm like, you know, if you feel like you should, then go ahead and go with it. Now that Tanya is pregnant again with Nico's baby, are you willing to take that father role for her future child? I mean, if he's gonna be there, I shouldn't have to, but I mean, Tanya, what is your ideal situation? For Nicholas to be a father to our kids. Nothing else matters besides him stepping up as a father, being there more. When he leaves, Jaden does not know when he's going to see him again. And I have to be the one to deal with Jaden's emotions. I have to be the one to say, you'll see daddy next week, or maybe you'll see daddy in three months, or six months, or a year. You never know. 
Okay. You can come see your son and your daughter whenever you want. Thank you. You don't have Remember to live with Remember you said that. Me. Make sure you keep it consistent. You keep it consistent as a Thank father you. and come Thank see you. your son you. more than once Thank a you. blue okay. moon. Okay. All right. Because my son is I'll, important. Uh -huh. he, my son's Make him important. My, son, my son's important, too. Put him too. before Why don't yourself. you put him, why don't you put him before you and, I and do. what you want? Really, I do. seriously, Tony? Didn't I tell you last really? time? I'm really? not yelling. I'm not yelling, so I'll talk. You were yelling. We got to keep going. We are going to wrap this up, and we are extremely grateful that both Nico and Devon were able to join us this evening. Thank you so much. Bang! Hi, how are you? What are you? What are you doing? I just wanted to talk to you, check up on you, and talk to you about some things. Yeah, let's step away. Handle that, girl. Are you kidding me? What the f is Nico doing here? So, what's up? I decided to come and talk to you about some things that I was hearing. You and Devon decided not to move forward with your marriage. And I was just thinking that that's a, that's a, that's a great thing. We're not getting married and that's that, so. Did it have anything to do with me? No. You sure? I mean, this trip was supposed to be for me to clear my mind about this whole Vaughn situation, and now he wants to pop up? <laughs> you could try to make it seem like you don't like being around me. You could try to make it seem like you don't know how to be my friend. But the simple fact is that, Tanya, you still love me. It's in your body language. You don't have to tell me you love me. It's in the way you look at me. Vaughn sees it. Everybody, everybody sees it. Everybody sees it. And he knows I don't like him. Because he you know played my girl. Yeah, you Way too many times right. for him to be showing up and saying, hi, I'm here again. Yeah. That's it. Even if you were to marry Vaughn tomorrow, you still got to have a level of love for you that you can't escape. And that's all I'm trying to say. I don't even trust you with my heart as a friend anymore. Because I learned a lot. And I'm a whole nother person now. So you're going to just make it seem like that I'm just not good for you? No, we, me and neither of us are good for each other. We don't do anything but end up hurting each other in the end. Yes, it's hard for me to be around you because you were my best friend. I trusted you more than I trusted any man in my life. So what happened between me and you, yeah. You hurt me too. You hurt me bad before Vaughn, during Vaughn and after and even now. This sucks. It sucks a lot. <laughs> What's good? Yeah, because now our girl is playing, so like, we want to know what the f he got going on. It's okay. <laughs> Marrying him is just not a good idea. She likes to make everything like, it's just about kids. No, sweetheart, you love me. Still furious with Morgan, but despite the cheating and all the pain he's put me through, I agree to hear him out. What's up? I know we had a heated argument, and I really do love you. So hopefully, me and you can talk things over, and we can work this thing out. First, you can take that jacket off. Okay, I, I understand the situation behind this jacket. In every picture, you had that same brown ass <laughs> Chester Teeter ass jacket on, so All take right. it off. Well, I'm gonna, take I'm it gonna off stay here and talk right. to you with it on because I don't want to look at it. When Morlin first walked out on me, he was posting pictures of him everywhere at strip clubs, bars with half naked women several times a day in that jacket. And now you want to sit in front of me to try to make up with that same jacket on? Like, what the got going on in your head, bro? 
every time I look at it, it reminds me of you cheating and all your infidelity and all of that. So take it off. All right, well, that's fine. I'll burn it if you want me to burn it. Yeah, I'll burn you need it. to do all this. All right. Don't put it nowhere near me. All right. Put well, that on the ground, bro. On the ground, don't, don't really? Don't let me try to take care of that that damn jacket. Don't play with me. I didn't come here for all that today. I came here to have a peaceful lunch and hopefully we can get past our problems. I didn't come here to argue. We ain't gonna worry about the jacket today. It's not that serious. That's it. That's right. the wrap. That's the end of the jacket. Actually, rip this bitch up just in case you think you finna wear it again. I really ain't worried. Get all up. Why are you here? Cause you know, I realized all the time we was apart. And I thought back on all the times when you was there for me. You truly loved me regardless to whether I'm rich or poor. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. And I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you trying to, you know, focus on your career. You're trying to really better yourself on, in that area. I'm that just asking, are you here for this no, show? No, that don't mean nothing to me. When I left the show, it seemed like you left. You left me, because that's when everything went down. But now I'm back in Atlanta, now you back. So how you think all that made me feel, Morton? It made me feel that that's the only reason why you're around me, and when I ain't got nothing, you to the next bitch. That wasn't the case. I was just trying to exhale, because you was arguing with me every day, and you was stressed out, I mean, your career was down. And I was feeling that negative energy every day. I wanted to feel free, you know? I felt betrayed, morning, And it was all how you left, too. I took D2 to school, and I come back, and all your stuff gone. And you left me at a time where I needed you the most. Have you ever just thought about how that made me feel? Because this whole situation, it really had... It really had a strong effect on me, man. It, it was hard. It was a time I was doing everything by myself. And I apologize for you having to go through that. But at the time, it was hard to talk to you when you was going through. You started listening to your family, and you was taking people's advice over mine, and that really kind of, that really bothered me a lot. That's my big thing. When you, I feel like when you don't listen to my advice and think I don't know what I'm talking about, you listen to other people, it backfire on you, then you say, well, baby, are you going to be by my side? Are you going to be here for me now? I didn't fail. I'm like, but I tried to keep you from falling. Okay, and I'm saying, I ain't saying it was completely right for me to leave. Yeah, I should have listened, but you should have sat down and you should have talked it out like we're adults. You need to let me know how you're feeling instead of just shutting down. That's why I'm here, that I want to fix things with us. And in order to do that, just show me. That's all, all right. I need. And showing me is you need to change your phone number. Showing me is getting rid of that and showing me is being 100 and faithful and upfront with me. At least give it a try, you know, it's worth it. Well, so you gonna you gonna leave? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good idea for me to get this job, you know, mm -hmm. put some money in, you know, help out a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm, okay. So you leave me when today? Yeah, here in a minute. Mm okay. I mean, isn't it be, isn't it be all right? I mean, I don't think so. I tried to take my sister's advice to trust Chris, but I just can't do it. I just feel like he's running away from me again, and I don't need that in my life right now. Especially with everything that's going on with my career and with the wedding. Why, just because I'm going to go work? Yeah, I don't trust you. I'm sorry, I don't trust you. You see what I mean? Like, this, like everybody's always mm -hmm. talking about me, you know what I mean? Hating me and everything just because I look like I was bumming around and everything, right? And then now that, yeah, I, you know, now, now that I'm doing something right, productive, that I'm trying to do, you know what I'm saying? You can I follow find a job the over person here. that you can I find follow. A job right, over look, here. You don't have fine. to go out of town. 
All right, that's fine. Why but look, let me tell you. Why have to be this way? All right, that, all right. Look, you I, can I, worry I already about know. Yourself? Now that I'm trying to do something, the person that I follow to come over here and support, you know, this night is a, oh, you know, a person you. that I'm not saying you here to support. support me. What Listen, I do. what I'm saying. You Listen, look. What I do. look can you? Can I talk? Why are you there, like getting because aggressive? Because I don't trust you, Pepe. I just don't trust you. I'm sorry. I just don't trust you. I should. You live in the past. You can't let my past define who I am right now. That's what I'm trying to say. His past does define him because he up. There's no way that I'm okay with him leaving me just to go to work. I don't want to have to be assuming and thinking on other, other that I'm not going to be doing with that anymore. So just like you want to focus on your jobs, I'm going to focus on me and my career and my kids. But when did I say that I didn't want to be with you? I'm not saying you're breaking up with me. I'm the one that's breaking up with you. If I can't trust you, maybe if you had a job over here, you'd be better. Chris has cheated on me in the past. Of course I'm not gonna trust his ass to be gone that long. You know what, you're just like your parents. Nothing satisfied no, them. No, Nothing no, satisfied no. them. I'm not At first when I didn't have a job, and when I'm I did have a job, they were still, everybody still talked. You just want me in this damn house like a damn go, animal go, trapped go, in this house. Why you leave me? And you're getting mad because I'm leaving go, to go work. Go, go, go. You live in the what? past and you can't define, uh, you, you, you can't let my past define who I am. Without a job, you're mad. With a job, you're mad. It's just nothing makes you happy. No, like you know you what mad. it is? I figured it out. You just don't want to. You just want to be the one that's bringing the money, so you can, so you can feel like you have the upper hand, so you can belittle me. Yeah, and just like you say, you want to support me. You don't support me even when you have. Look, 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 I'm, you. I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. I'm just changing my number, everything. Everything. Bro, I'm bro, you. Have I ever cheated on you? Have I ever cheated on you? But am, yeah. I, am I saying that I, am I saying no, no to all the stuff you're saying? It's true. It's Pack <laughs> I'm done with I'm done. That's fine, that's fine. Now that I try to do something, you really want to get mad. Nothing ever is going to keep you satisfied, you know what I mean? You might say that I'm a piece of or whatever, but I mean, you know, you don't call maybe that hell. Maybe you want to do it. That's the way you were born. That's just all right. So, uh, now, now that I'm trying to, look at you. That's like the last job you had. You look, never did. Gotta be screaming. I like, talk to you, right? Look. It's okay because you're you not done. All right. I'm not trying to change your mind. Look, but all I'm saying is I'm going to go work. You're trying to make, you're just trying to make yourself look good. That's what it is. Don't make nobody look you're trying good. Trying to make yourself look good. That's all. That's all. That's it. That's it. All right. Live in the past, because I mean I ain't that don't define who I am now. Bye. Just mad because I'm trying to better myself. You just want to keep me trapped like a damn animal. Yeah, Get me the hell out of here. Ah.